The insert line above and below commands let you insert new lines around your current cursor position. Let's start by looking at insert line below. So here you can see in the, the file here, my cursor is currently in the middle of a line, and if I press enter or return normally, it'll actually go in and insert a new line at that position and move all of the text on that line down to the next line as well. So that's just VS Code standard behavior. Now where insert line below comes in handy is that you can insert a new line without moving any of the text here. So if I instead say control enter or command enter on Mac here, it'll go and use the insert line below command, and that will go and insert the new line, like I said, without moving any of the existing text down. So I don't have to think about where my cursor is on that line. You can see that my cursor has now been moved down to that new line, and I can just start typing and working on this new line instead. So that's a nice convenience instead of having to move to the end of the line and then press return. Now the insert line above command does the same thing, except it inserts a line above your current cursor position. Now to do that, all you have to do is press control shift return or enter or command shift return or enter, and that'll run the insert line above command. So I'll say control shift return or command shift return here, and you can see it's inserted a new, new line above the current cursor position. Again, it did not affect anything that was on the line itself. It has just inserted a new line and then moved my cursor up there. When you need to create a new line, these commands can both save you time compared to going to the end of the line and then pressing return.